Uh, today I will introduce normal linear EUS in Pancreas Biliary System. My name is Taehyun Kim. I'm working at Wongang Rivers Hospital in Korea. Linear EUS shows one plane image of the target organ. Many endoscopists is not familiar with linear EUS image. We need to know how to find pancreas bile duct EUS. I suggest four things. A. Proper location for target organs, gastric, duodenal area. B. Find home base or landmark. This home base starting point for returning point of echoendoscope movement. C. Follow the load like bile duct, pancreas duct, vessels. D. We can use Doppler for differentiations bile duct and vessels. I'll show you how to observe pancreas biliary system by transgastric route. Step 1. Left liver inferior vena cava. When the patient lying in the left lateral position, scope advanced to easy junction, transducer will be pointing to the anterior side. On US imaging, left liver, hepatic vein can be seen naturally, and this is a left liver CT. We can understand easily each organs and the vessel according to the scope rotations. Like this, clockwise rotation, I, hepatic vein, and IVC can be seen. More rotation, we can see aorta, and then we can find the pancreas area. Step 2, descending aorta, that is great home base, celiac trunk, SMA, take off from the descending aorta. On US video clips, we can see descending aorta, celiac trunk, SMA, take off. Following the celiac trunk, we can see spreading artery, hepatic artery. I made a simple pancreatic biliary system for understanding U.S. anatomy. Before I mentioned about the home base, descending aorta is great home base, a scope, clockwise rotation, right turn. We can observe the pancreatic tail, left kidney, and spleen. Otherwise, counterclockwise, we can see pancreatic body area, head. We can also we can see the biliary systems and the SMV. Step 3, the spreading artery and the vein. Advance the scope slightly, rotated clockwise rotation. We can see the pancreatic body and tail area. At this point, spreading artery and the vein is a good landmark. A spreading artery is usually image on the proximal side of the transducer, not compressed. A splenic vein is imaged on the distal side, very easily compressed. Color Doppler can help identify the splenic artery and the vein. Step 4. Pancreatic tail and left kidney. In continuing rotate clockwise rotation, following the splenic vein, we can see pancreatic tail, left kidney. Step 5. Pancreatic tail and spleen. Rotating the skull further to observe the pancreas until the splenic hilum. At these times, upward angulation would make it easier to imagine pancreatic tail of the pancreas and the splenic hilum. We can see there on knee with imaging. We can see splenic hilum splenic vein divided like this and we can see also rotating scope we can see the left adrenal gland step six the pancreas body continue to rotate the endoscope counterclockwise rotation follow the splenic vein advancing with the scope 
from pancreatic tail to pancreatic body movement. Step 7, pancreatic body and portal confluence. Uh, this area, good landmark is a portal confluence. After following the splenic vein, counterclockwise rotation, push endoscope is a bird of big wheel. We can see portal confluence on the US imaging. SMV and splenic vein merging into the portal vein is visible. Carefully rotating the scoff, we can observe the pancreatic body area, pancreatic neck area, and pancreatic head area. Very important landmark is portal confluence in these steps. Step 8 SMV pancreas head. In this area, landmark portal confluence SMV. Endoscope clockwise rotation. Avoid angulation following SMV, we can see pancreas low portion. Also, we can see ventral pancreas in this imaging. I show you video clips. This is dilated CVD. This is SMV. Following the SMV, we can see low portion pancreas head, including ventral pancreas ventral pancreas, low aqueric area. Step 9, pancreas head area. This area, good landmark is SMV, portal confluence. Following the SMV, advancing scope a little, we can see main pancreas duct, digital CVD, nearby major amphora. This is video clips. We can see main pancreas duct area. CBD. This area portal confluence. This portal confluence connects the SMV. We can see pancreas neck area. The 10 SMV portal vein. When SMV is imaged on long axis and gradually withdraw the scope, is clockwise rotation. Uh, big wheel down again. We can see portal confluence, portal vein, CBD. Now I will summarize today my talk. US scan of pancreatic biliary systems without missing anything is so important for accurate diagnosis and select US. Also, we need to remember some basic images. We try to find home base and tracing is very important. Sometimes we need delicate movement and talk and the scope. We need to know what is your target US scanning. Initially, review the of the CT or MRI before the US scanning. We need to see randomark related with target regions. Also, we need to meet good mentor or supervisor and good lecture like this seminar. Thank you for your attention for this my talk.